I'm your host, Mike Riley. In this screencast, you will learn how to use Sublime Text 2. I will begin by showing you the editor's interface and how to quickly navigate and edit your code using a combination of menu selections and keyboard commands. You can also hold or click and hold down the mouse cursor and drag it vertically to quickly scroll up and down. It's almost like a Google Earth view of your code. It's a feature I've become so used to that when it's not present in other editors, its omission is painfully apparent. Selecting Go to Anything from the Go to menu or pressing the Command plus P keys will bring up the ST2's Go to Anything text box. As you start typing in the desired file name, the box will expand to match all the files that match that entry. You can even scroll through the results with the up and down arrow keys to select the file and view its contents into the main window before opening it. To quickly find a symbol such as a method name in the file, you can either select Go To Symbol from the Go To menu, or use the quicker keyboard combination, Command plus R. This will pop up the Go To Anything text box and pre-populate it with the at symbol. This instructs ST2 to look for symbols in the open files. For example, let's look at for the update method in the products controller class. Type in the word update and hit return. You can also select all bookmarks via the Go To Bookmarks Select All Bookmarks option. Note how the bookmark menu dynamically adds new bookmark entries to the menu, labeling them by line number in the file. This is yet another small but helpful feature that shows off why ST2 is so popular among progressive developers. This is done via the Layouts submenu in the View menu, or better yet, use the Command plus Option plus Number keys. There's really no going back to the old way of viewing files at one file at a time. This creates a new untitled .sublime build file with a CMD command stub template. Let's fill in the commands needed for IPython. Sublime Text developer enthusiast Will Bond created a package manager that elegantly handles package sourcing, retrieval, installation, and removal.